Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tevs. Welcome back again to this channel. This next repair is a higher 32 inches LED TV, model LE32B500D. No standby light indicator and not turning on. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and you found it informative, so make sure to like our videos and subscribe to this channel. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. Let's first check the main capacitor if have a charge or none. No charge so let's set the multimeter to continuity mode and check for any short circuit components. The two rectifier diodes are shorted. And seems the power MOSFET is also shorted, and it's sure that the AC fuse is blown. Let's remove the board and check more defective components. Let's remove the MOSFET together with the heatsink to see more components under it. A couple of resistors are burnt. Let's test the MOSFET again now that it's out of the circuit. It really shorted. These burnt resistors are connected to the source of the MOSFET, their function are over current protection, and they mostly get burnt when the MOSFET gets shorted. Let's remove the burnt resistors.
Usually, if the MOSFET gets shorted and the overcurrent resistors are burnt, the PWM driver also gets damaged, so let's also remove it. We will not replace this MOSFET and the other damaged components, but we will modify it, using again the STRW6053N, because I don't have the replacement of those damaged components. Let's start the modification. Don't forget to add thermal paste. Let's align the source and the drain to the pin's hole. We will rotate the STRW6053 and to align the source and the drain to the pin's hole. The drain and the source are now on the right pin's hole. Let's also remove these resistors they have no more use when the modification is applied. All not necessary component is removed. Let's place now the STRW6053 and together with the heatsink then solder it.
We will solder together these two pins. Let's solder a wire to the other pins and then connect them later to their proper connection. Let's first connect the VCC. I did a lot of using the STRW6053 and for modification of main power supplies, and they work great, and I have uploaded many videos of this way of modification. Now the feedback. Let's connect now these two pins that we have soldered together lately. Before that, let's first solder the overcurrent protector resistor. 
These are the original overcurrent protection resistors, now we will replace it a 0.33 ohm, and place it here now. All connections are now complete. Let's replace all the rectifier diodes. Let's get a rectifier diode to the scrap board. A surplus component is still good to use, yes it's been used, but sure it is an original. I want to repair affordable to the customer, and that is why I don't buy a new component. The fuse is blown, let's again use my 220 ohms 20 watts resistor, solder to the terminals of the fuse, for safe testing. Now let's try it if we have a voltage output now. This is the 12 volts rectifier diode so we will test the voltage here. 
We have an output of 12.3 volts now, seems the power supply modification is working, let's replace now the fuse. With a surplus fuse. Let's try it with the LCD panel and the LED bulbs are connected. The 12.3 volts is not dropping. Let's turn the TV on. Seems working now. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. You can help this channel by liking the videos and subscribing to it. Ringing the bell will notify you every time I post a new video. Once again I'm Tefs, see you again next time, bye for now.